Greetings YouTube, Sunday the 18th of March, no wind whatsoever. I just wanted to let you know a few jobs I've got in the pipeline. The first one is fixing this blade hub, and I'm not talking about all the mud that's in the middle of it. So basically this cast iron hub that I had to modify to fit on the wind turbine as I now want to run it, and by modify I welded one of these collars on each end, one on the front side, which is this side, and then one on the back side. Ah, it's gone. All right, let me just get a pokey thing a sec. I don't know if you can see, there's a conical shape inside with a keyway, and that fits over this, which is the front of the Chinese turbine, which got butchered. So when I say it's cone shaped, that's what I mean. So what needs to happen is another correct size collar needs fixing on there. Uh, obviously if it's slightly off one way or the other, that'll cause a big problem. So yeah, I need to fix, I need to fix this on here somehow. And the problem is because it's cast iron, uh, you know, the welding's hit and miss to say the best. So what I've decided I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna to have to get three bits of metal similar to this, but shorter, and then bolt them just there. I'll bolt each bit just there. We'll line it up perfectly to the outside of the collar, and then we'll weld those three bits on to the collar. Uh, I can't really weld to this. If I can bolt through here, then that's no problem. I can even bolt through there and make a triangle, but that's the fix I've got for that, okay? So that's that thing. These metal plates were off an old wind turbine of mine which had a couple of smart drive motors in it which never really worked out properly. There was a couple of fundamental mistakes early on that it was a bit of a cock up in the end but lesson learned. Anyway these I've decided to to start thinking about modifying these to take the other motor uh, and then I've kind of got a head start on the project. These could then be mounted to the turbine and have some kind of situation where they can be moved back and forward and adjusted easily. So these, these will need these top bits taken off and then they'll need a channel cutting. Uh, let me go get a Sharpie. Right, that's not the best drawing, but there'll be a cut out like this in the middle. And that's very important because that will fit. Let me go show you. Right, so that is the end of the motor spindle. which is just over 10 mil. So by using a slot, it stops the spindle from turning because we don't want the spindle to turn at all. The spindle is going to be fixed. No problem there, that spindle isn't going to move. It's going to be this, the whole motor that moves, which is where, oh, sorry about that, which is where it differs uh, quite a lot from a classical design because as you can see this motor here, this motor spindle turns obviously the blades go on there and the spindle turn with my design with my design the gear cog goes on the front of the motor and that's that the I'm still working my head around a couple of bits to do with this if I'm totally honest because it's obviously a lot wider we've got a bit here uh, which would be where the rear gear cassette would fit on. And then this is kind of wasted space here, which means the frame has to be bigger. Uh, the all important gear hub will bolt onto here where the brake disc would go. And just again, the spindle will stay fixed. The only, another issue I've got is with the wires. I was kind of stupidly hoping that the wires would come out of the middle, but because the wires are so thick, because those wires are actually thicker than I was expecting, then obviously the wire wouldn't fit down the middle. But yeah, so that's the jobs I've got on at the moment. And I shall obviously video you with any progress. That's WD-40. I noticed I've got these annoying. Uh, I need to possibly go buy one of those. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. I hope you have a nice weekend. That's uh, not moving at the moment. And that's the job. And also one other thing with the frames, uh, what we'll need is something like this, as we had before. Uh, sorry, let me get out the sun. 
So we'll have a hole in the middle here which can fit over the spindle which will can be adjusted up and down and we'll have another one of these here with bolts on it. Uh, it will be like the other one but all will become clear very soon but I'm trying to do the light and easy work and when the turbine needs taking down I have got help to do that. So I'll see you soon, cheers.